So a long time ago, before my beard grew long and my hair fell out, there was open world PvP. And it was all over the place, man. It was literally there, it was there, it was there, it was all over the place. And you know why? Because there was no battlegrounds. There was a time back in World of Warcraft's history when there was not a single fucking battleground. There was no Warsong Gulch. There was no Arathi Basin. There was no 400 hour Ultric Valleys. No, there was none of that stuff. It was just world PvP. That's how people got their PvP fixed. They went out to the enemy cities or the enemy towns and they killed everything in sight. They killed the guards. They killed the quest givers. They killed the players. They killed everyone and everything. And you know what? It caused a shit ton of server lag, and it was kind of annoying, but goddamn, it was awesome. Now eventually, Blizzard got really sick and tired of all the servers crashing because of Terran Mill versus South Shore battles happening left and right, and so they introduced these little things called Battlegrounds. And you know what? They were great. Everyone loved Battlegrounds. Name one person that didn't like Battlegrounds. That's right, you couldn't name a single one. So, Blizzard introduces Battlegrounds, everyone's getting their PvP fix with Warsong Gulch and all that crap, but there was still a community of people, a strong community of people, that would say, you know, this is all great and dandy, but this is instanced PvP. We like world PvP. We want the unpredictability of world PvP. One second, it's five person versus five person, or two guys versus one dude and just killing him and camping his corpse and the next thing you know you have hundreds of players just fighting it out in this one little area just mercilessly slaughtering one another and you know there was a community of people that said you know that is real pvp that is pvp not this instanced 10 versus 10 bullshit no one cares about that man we want the epic big battles this is world of warcraft not world of 10 versus 10 craft and so Blizzard appealed to these people by creating towers. They built the towers in the Plague Lands, which are now just dumb little quest hubs. And you know how people responded? That's right. They hated them. Nobody did these damn things because they were dumb. No one cared. And so the people that actually cared about World PvP, they went down to the Gauntlet, aka Black Rock Mountain, they killed people there, they went down to South Shore and Terran Mill, killed people there. They went down to Cutthroat Vale, aka Stranglethorn Vale, and they killed people there. And all was well. But over the years, Blizzard just continued to discourage World PvP. They introduced arenas. They made it so that if you kill, let's say, uh, an NPC or you're spotted by an enemy faction NPC, a million guards show up and kill you instantly and it becomes like next to impossible to raid a capital city, and so on, and so forth. And why? Why would Blizzard do this? Why would they kill that Warcraft side of World of Warcraft? Well, the answer is simple. Just two things. Number one, server crashes. These big battles, man, they would lead to the deaths of thousands of players, but they would also lead to the deaths of the servers themselves. And Blizzard didn't like that. And players didn't like that. A lot of players. Not all players, but a lot of players didn't like that. And the second thing, if you were a guy just trying to quest, and all of a sudden a big horde army marched into your little town and killed all the quest givers and whatnot, you didn't really like that either. And so, people complained. People said, ah, oh, you know, uh, yeah. But here's the thing. Blizzard knew that there was still a big community of people that wanted to do World PvP. They wanted that unpredictability. They didn't want to be instanced into a tiny little zone to do 10v10 or 20v20 or whatever. And so Blizzard introduced the whole... They introduced that whole, like, world PvP spots. Like Lake Wintergrasp and Tolbarad and all that crap. And you know what? It was alright. Just an outdoor battleground. It was alright. Yeah. And Blizzard introduced more towers. The towers in Legion, you know. You go there, you do some PvE, you get some honor points, takes two minutes. You pretty much never run into an enemy player. I mean, I'm on a high population realm and I don't run into anybody. Yep, more towers. Alright, let me get into the part of this video where I'm going to state some opinions, and I'm going to yell at Blizzard, and I'm going to rant a little bit, and you're either going to say in the comments section, 
Nixium, you're dumb. Or you're gonna say, wow, Nixium, like, I 100% agree with you. Like, you're so handsome and so smart. Like, holy shit. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Blizzard. Over the years, your server tech has gotten better. Okay, all right. You've also been doing a lot of cross-realm shit. All right, mm-hmm. Okay, you guys following me so far? Why have you not made it, like, why have you not put into the game more incentives to do world PvP? Why? Why? Why have you made it so that by attacking an enemy city, you can't earn honor? Why have you not put in a system, for example, like, if you kill, let's say, a quest giver? A quest giver! Like a low-level quest giver that ain't doing you no harm, you maybe lose honor points for doing something like that. Why have you not introduced a system where by attacking a low-level player, a player 10 levels or more beneath you, by ganking them, you lose honor? Back in Vanilla WoW, there was a thing called the Dishonor system. And if I remember correctly, it's been a long-ass time, originally in the concept of the Dishonor system, if you gained enough Dishonor, you would actually become an enemy to your own faction. Meaning, you couldn't even walk into your capital cities anymore without the guards attacking you because you were a dishonorable dog. And if you wanted to, you know, you know, go back to being a normal member of the Alliance or a proud member of the Horde, you had to get your reputation back. You had to get your honor back by doing quests and, you know, whatever. Whatever hoo-ha. Why don't you put a system like that in? What's the big deal? You know? If a guy wants to go and kill some lobies, let him go kill some lobies. But he ain't gonna be a proud member of the Horde and do it. And he ain't gonna be a valiant member of the Alliance and do it. Why not? Why not, Blizzard? Or just make it so quest NPCs can't be killed. And you can't attack a player like 20 levels beneath you. Because, you know, you might be an asshole in real life, but your character in the game isn't. So he ain't gonna attack that guy. Because he, your, your orc shaman's kinda cool. You know? He's not a dick like you. Why not? Here's the thing. I fought in the battles of Terran Mill versus South Shore. I defended Darnassus against Horde invasions. I have stood at the gates of Stormwind and watched a tidal wave of smelly orcs and undead and all that shit just descend upon the city. I've done that. And you know what? It was awesome. It was incredible. And yeah, it took me away from my daily routine of doing dungeons and leveling or doing raids. But you know what? That's fine because it was fucking awesome. And I want to see more of that because it was great. And ain't none of you going to tell me otherwise. It was great and it was dope. That's right. And I would absolutely love it if Blizzard could introduce a system into this game in a future expansion that actually encourages players to go out and attack enemy cities and to kill enemy players of their level or within their level range in the open world. I want to see big battles again. I want to see that cross-realm tech really bring tons of players together fighting in the open world, trying to take control of territories, planting their banners here, there, and everywhere, earning awesome rewards, whatever. But I also want them to have rewards for defending your towns, and defending your villages, and killing attacking foes, and so on and so forth. I really, really would love to see the world of Warcraft alive with the Warcraft Ness. You know? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. Now I know that some of you guys, you don't care about PvP. You don't give a shit. But you know what? I know there's a lot of you guys out there that you do like PvP. And you do want to go burn Stormwind to the ground. And you do want to go attack Orgrimmar. You want to kill Thrall. Or you want to kill Anduin, that little pussy. And no, no, before you say, that, oh no, Nixium, Anduin, he's not a pussy anymore. Like, 
he's a big strong Manduin now. Like, did you see the new cinematic where he picked up his dad's sword and he was crying and his dad was like, oh, like, son, stop being a little bitch. You need to be a king now. And Anduin was like, yeah. And he like looked all menacingly into the camera. Nah, Nixium, Anduin's cool now. No, he's not. Anduin is still a little bitch. He is. And we need to kill him. I want to get on my Horde character. I want to get on my mage right now. And I want to march in a Stormwind with all my friends, an entire army on my stream. And I want to kill that blonde, dumb piece of filth. That's what I want to do. And you know what, Blizzard? I should be rewarded for killing that guy. I should be given honor points for murdering him and mounting his disgusting head on the top of Orgrimmar's walls. That's what should be done. I should be awarded in this game for taking his face and just ripping it apart with my freaking undead, even though he doesn't have a jaw, but using cannibalize on his body. I should be getting honor points every single second while I'm eating that son of a bitch. And that's what I think. Blizzard, you need to bring back world PvP, you need to put it back in the game, you need to create incentives for people to go out there and kill each other in the open world, and that's what I gotta say in this video. So leave your comment below, tell me what you think, and I will see you guys on the next Nixium video. Alright, I'll see ya.